18 weeks. 18 weeks pregnant. Yay! So hey everybody. Ah, that's awesomeness. So that means that in two weeks from this weekend, I get to find out what this little bundle of joy is. So I think the plan is, is that we're going to find out on Saturday, but we're not going to find out. And then we're going to try to find a bakery that will do a one day turnaround. And then Sunday, get our family together and find out what the baby is all together. So, um, that's, that's partly, that's also like kind of how I wanted to do it too. You want to do it kind of with the family. So I'm excited. Um, I told everybody, I was like, I can't wait and do it like a week later. I was like, I can't, like, I need to know ASAP. So <laughs> I keep forgetting to talk about movements and someone was asking about that. Honestly, I don't feel this baby that much. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm really busy or if it's because maybe my placenta is in the front because I don't know where my placenta is um, and that can kind of block the movement so you don't feel them as much until the baby gets stronger um, or you know I don't know like I said it could just be me like I'm not paying as much attention what I do feel is like when I'm and it won't be when I'm even thinking about it like I'll just be doing something and I, I will feel those still those little flutters but they're definitely stronger but I always feel them and then I'm like, I stop and I'm like, but they don't happen again. So I can't like kind of confirm it. So it seems like I always feel the baby moving when I'm distracted. So I don't, I don't have, I'm not focused on it to like kind of confirm in my mind that that was definitely a baby, but I'm pretty sure it has to be. Tonight though, however, I was driving in the car and I'm pretty sure I felt a little baby punch because, or kick, because <laughs> it was stronger than like even the stronger flutters that I've been thinking I'm getting. Um, it definitely felt like a little like boop. So I was kind of like, ooh, I hope it was. Like, so, and it didn't happen again, but I was like, oh, I think that was the baby. So, so yeah. <sighs> what else? So this, um, I keep working out, you guys. I've been like hanging in there and working out. And, um, you know, last week I was talking about how I was disappointed in the lack of like um, prenatal, like specifically prenatal workout classes that um, aren't offered. Um, cause it's like, all you find is like yoga and I'm like, no, I want like an actual harder workout. Sorry. Something got into my eye at like the worst possible moment. <laughs> Just like right when I'm recording. Um, so if I'm all like blinky, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> what was that? Um, but I found a class at my gym that, um, they, they listed it that it would be appropriate for, um, people who wanted like a less lower impact. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it. And I was a little like nervous. I've been going to that gym for a while, but um, I've never done an actual class. And uh, so I was just like nervous to like start. Cause I, you know, I, I'm always nervous when I start an exercise class. i um, always like, I just feel like kind of self-conscious and nervous, which is funny because I've done exercise classes for forever and I always love them and I never have a problem but I always get that way it's just like the nervous anticipation of the start of the class so I was like no I'm gonna do it so this class is called um, foundations combo and it was called the combo part because it was cardio 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 <laughs> cardio and strength so um it's an hour-long class so I went Today I was like, I'm gonna do it, and so like today we rushed around. Like I um, uh, had to get Grayson to um, Granessa's, Kyle's mom's, so she could watch him while I took Sophie to ballet. And then after ballet, there wasn't enough time to go get Grayson, so Sophie and I had to go straight to the gym. Had to take her to the gym, um, play care, and then get up to my class like on time. And um, so I just like, I went up to the class and it was pretty crowded and I was like looking in the door, the windows and I was like, okay. So like I went in there and like, usually like when I start a new class, I just kind of follow, like I copy what everybody else is doing. Like if they're grabbing a mat and a weight, I'll do that or whatever. But this one, everybody was getting so much stuff and like setting things up in a specific way. I was like, I don't even, what, what are you all getting? Like, why do you have like eight things? Like, I don't even know what to do here. So, so I just like. I was just like, forget this. I was like, I'm not even going to ask a student. I found the teacher. She was at the front of the class just kind of like talking, you know, and, and you know, whenever you're in those workout classes, they always have like little 
microphones and so like she was just talking and it was like coming over the loudspeaker and I like went straight up to her and I was like hey <laughs> I was like I was like this is my first class I was like what do I do <laughs> and I just did it and she was so nice and she was like what's your name and we introduced ourselves she was like really excited and she's telling me all about the class and she told me what equipment to get and it was just great I don't know why I always get anxious and nervous to start those things because I always have a good time and it's never a big deal like ever like but anyway, so this one, um, it was really cool, and she was like, she was telling me, she said that it was actually, the class was actually an intermediate class. So, more than a beginner class, which is like what I was told, so I was like, oh. And she was like, no, 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 she goes, but, she said it was designed so that um, every, like all the more intense workouts had a lower level, that people who needed, like people maybe who have like knee injuries, or there were, um, they're new to working out or they're pregnant like she said those people could take them down a notch and still get like a hardcore workout and I was like awesome let's do this so it was just really good and it involved like yeah we had to have two different resistance bands because there's two different I mean two different strengths of them um, two different sets of weights like at two different levels we had a step like a little like one of those step um, I don't even know what to call them like boards you know like on levels um, these big huge like yoga mats but like bigger than normal like they were big uh what else did we have oh one of those long weight poles those and even just doing that like i felt it in my shoulders uh was that it i don't even remember i think that's it anyway it was really cool it was like it was just a good class and i was really into it and the thing is is though is even though like, um, in addition to being pregnant, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of like not in the best shape of my life and blah, blah, blah. The thing is, though, is like I've done enough. Like, I did boot camp for a long time. Um, I've done, you know, enough workout classes that, like, I know a lot of the routines. And so this class involved, um, like, some kickboxing and different things. And it's like, I know those moves. And so it's like she would, she would, like, start doing something. And so I never felt like, I told my husband, I was like, I never felt like a noob, like, at it. Like, I never felt like a newbie because I was like, oh, yeah, we're doing this. Like, I knew the form and how to do everything because I've done it in my past. So that kind of gave me more confidence, too. Like, I was all like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and so, um, you know, it was just good. And the teacher was amazing. She was so encouraging and wonderful and I just really liked her. She, you could tell she actually knew about pregnant workouts because she was um, reminding me about like my heart rate and you know make sure not to like go overboard and um, and like at the end we were doing some um, yoga-esque type movements and things on a mat on our backs um, to cool down and you know she was like you shouldn't lay flat on your back which is correct and, she, <laughs> and so um, she she knew exactly she's like oh we just and so she took my little um step board and like ha she just knew this way to angle it and put my mat on it like for me so that i was slightly angled and it was you know i told you guys last week <laughs> i started getting that like sciatic nerve crazy pain when i laid flat on my back on a hard surface and that includes like a yoga mat that's like any surface that's not basically as soft as a bed or a couch I'm like, ah, like it's very uncomfortable. And so I was very glad. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> because we were doing these like crazy stretches with like legs straight up in the air and then back all the way to our um, heads. You know, yoga moves, like typical yoga moves. But you're really stretchy when you do those. And my back, like on a flat, hard surface, would have been like, ah. So, but in that like slight angle, I was like, I was fine. I was like, yeah, it took all the pressure off that nerve and she knew exactly. And it was just, it was awesome. So the class was definitely more intense than I was expecting, but I think that was a good thing. I think it was like the best thing I could have done. So I'm gonna definitely do it every week. And now I wanna find another one too, maybe. Plus like, you know, I mean, hello, look at my arm. Look at that, look at that. That's not obviously just from today, <laughs> cause I've been working out on my own too. But my point is like, I got, you know, some like definition going on in my arm. I mean, yeah. So I may, cause like, I have like the worst love handles known to man. No, seriously, I do. Like they are, it's like, they like took over my body and it's just like bleh. And I may not be able to do a lot about the love handles right now, but at least I can get my legs to look really good and my arms to look really good, right? Like <laughs> I can get the rest of them, right? So that is my goal is like have awesome pregnant legs and awesome pregnant arms. And then when people like look too much at the love handles, it'll be like, look up here. 
be distracted by this muscle instead because it's more lovely than the love handles. <laughs> Let me tell you guys too, I have been getting tired in a way that is ridiculous. Like, I literally come afternoon, especially if I've worked out, I'm like a zombie. Like, I cannot even function. Like, I literally like cannot, I have to go lay down. Like, I'm so tired. It's ridiculous. So, other than that, my skin has still been much better. So, like, the breakouts that I was having, I talked about last week how they were better. It's just so much better. So much better. Oh, I've been craving, um, like, pineapple. Pineapple, I've been wanting pineapple. It has to be good pineapple. Other thing, oh, I've been craving sweets a little bit more and I, I haven't really done that this pregnancy. The only thing is, is what happens is like, if I get something, like if I indulge in like something sweet, um, I usually, like I can't eat all of it. Like I'm, it just fills me up really quick. And that could be maybe just because I cut a lot of that stuff out of my diet. So maybe my body's just not used to that kind of sugar um, as much anymore so it could be that I don't think it's necessarily pregnancy related I think I think my pregnancy self like wants it but then like the other part of me is like ooh that tastes good but only a little bit like it's like it, I don't want a ton of it I just will want it when I want it and I want a certain amount and then like I don't want any more we're gonna try to film the all the, the old wives tell gender videos stuff we're gonna try to film that this weekend we, we're going out of town um, just for the day on Saturday to go to um, our cousin's son's birthday party. <laughs> so maybe Sunday if I can um, see if the kids can go play at grandma's, one of the grandma's, and then we can uh, try to film all those videos. That would be really fun because we're out of time. Because like next week I'll be 19 weeks and then 20 weeks, halfway done. Like, oh, what is happening? It's so crazy. So, <laughs> okay, so let me show you guys the belly. Dust all my TTC friends out there, and I will talk to you again. Bye.